It was a pretty full house traveling during Easter weekend. Look at these fancy hagaus. It's me and my mom's first time here, and we're super excited to be exploring the city together during Easter. We have just arrived in Chengdu, China, and we're just exploring right now. We decided to do a spontaneous mother and daughter trip. Super excited to see some panda. We have the tours book. This is like the land of the pandas, and I didn't even know. And I'm obsessed with there. I knew panda came from China, but I did not know that it came from Chengdu. I'm definitely going to try to buy all the panda stuff that I see. Two pandas. It's girls' time. Shopping time. Just got back to the hotel from a long shopping day and mom decides to treat us with a little spa. The minute I saw that chair, I knew I had to sit on it. Me and my mom just finished our spa and right now we're just chilling in our room and we're gonna order in and just chill out because we're so relaxed and we're not trying to go nowhere to have dinner and plus it's Good Friday so this is indeed a good way to end Good Friday Get ready to experience a breakfast that keeps on giving. Starting with breakfast, pandas, fruits galore for days. We got watermelon juice, orange juice, any kind of juice your hearts desire. I'm more of a salty girl, so these dumplings were mouth-watering. Honestly, all these sauces, I don't even know what they're for, but we got them all. This kind of breakfast just makes me proud to be called a Chinese because it just sets the standard of how a breakfast should be done. I keep seeing things left and right, front and back. Every time I turn around, there's something new. Our tour guide was really confused why I was filming him and I told her that you don't actually see this in real life where I'm from. Even though I'm Chinese, Hong Kong is very European influenced. We are now at Li Shan Giant Buddha. Can't wait to see this. We're gonna start the trek. It's gonna be 30 to 20 minutes. Whoever said 30 minutes in the guidebook or brochure was definitely lying because this track was more than 30 minutes. Apparently, if you put your finger in these holes, you will get lucky. And obviously, I was trying to put my finger in every hole I see. <laughs> This place was massive and there were many places and temples that we could not take photos or videos of. And we definitely have to be respectful of that so this is something you definitely have to experience when you make the trip yourself.
Finally, to the main event, the giant Buddha's face. It was incredible how much detail was in there. We are now walking to see the entire statue of the Buddha. The little girl with the towel honestly reminded me of myself. You see all these people in that zigzag pattern in the mountains? That was where we were walking to see the entire giant Buddha statue. Honestly, all this walking was really worth it because seeing the giant Buddha up close was truly a remarkable experience. We are now walking into a beautiful view of an ancient bridge. It doesn't even seem real. It feels like just from a movie or a set. It's honestly a beautiful sight that I'm in such awe of it. After walking for so long, we are now hungry and need to replenish our bellies. We are making our way towards a restaurant that our tour guide have booked us and just going through this village, seeing whatever shops and food stalls they have along the way. I need to try this. This is cuter, I think. Like this. This is cuter. My tour guide for this whole Chengdu trip, Wang Wang. I would be so lost without her. It's like a Chinese Chinese. This restaurant near the giant Buddha was like stepping back into old times. You can see the old beds, the old TVs I had growing up. I don't know if you know what I'm thinking, but that thought had crossed my mind. We are currently entering a night market and ready to do some major shopping. It's giving me a lot of Shanghai vibes with these buildings. This is the land of the panda and clearly we have found the jackpot. just picked up my new candy bear and I'm so happy because it's so soft and squishy. It's honestly beef heaven. Today is Easter. I'm actually wearing what I bought in Thailand. Me and mom's Easter present will be seeing a real life panda. are 
China's national treasure. So they're kept very well and protected. Oh, bye! Bye! These two were the cutest siblings. And I honestly kind of want to do an animal voiceover for them because they seriously got some communication going on. But I think we're just going to enjoy and I'm going to do speech bubbles. <laughs> okay, but why is that paw bound so cute? I bet you haven't seen a panda pee. You're welcome. <laughs> Guys, I spotted a rare sighting of a panda in a bamboo. The owner showing us his fresh ingredients. To remember this tower as it will become significant. Honestly, this World Heritage Site is the most spectacular thing I've ever seen in my life. There are beautiful, detailed human figurines, ceramics, and animals all over this roof. All the artistic details here just takes your breath away. All throughout the walk in the ancient city, we were just greeted with tons of snacks and foods and delicacies. These kids found a pig and I want to walk and strut like this pig. There might be a familiar tower in the background. Surprise, surprise! We are making yet another journey up to that tower. view over here and then pan out you see the whole city as a former art school graduate I really can't stop looking at all these beautiful tiles Over the bridge, we are now greeted with a beautiful Chinese Zen garden. This World Heritage Site just transported me. And now we are going back to the hotel to get ready for our Easter dinner.
I really adored that our last night in Chengdu was Easter and we have a fabulous Chinese Easter dinner. Fun trip.